Jewish people around the world today celebrating Rosh Hashanah, marking the start of the Jewish New Year 5779, a time of celebration and also reflection. It's a time for us to think about how the year has been, how we have treated people. At the East Side Synagogue, the holiday is celebrated in a non traditional way. There's music and singing, and uh, that's what attracted my girlfriend and I to this, uh, this congregation. Rabbi Perry Berkowitz says his goal is to encourage those who may not regularly practice the faith to come. Jews who have dropped out of uh, mainstream synagogues or Jews who never went or those who were disenchanted, disaffected, who were looking for something different. A tradition they are always sure to include one of the signatures of Rosh Hashanah. The sounding of the ram's horn known as a shofar. It's meant to wake you up. It's it's meant to be in ancient times it was the call to battle. When you hear it, it's it's a prayer and sound. As is the case at most synagogues today at the East Side Synagogue, among those attending services, a visible show of security as well. <laughs> As together they usher in the new year with renewed focus and purpose. When they leave today, they take something with them for the rest of the year. Rosh Hashanah officially began at sundown last night, the start of a 10 day period that culminates with Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement. On the Upper East Side, Janelle Burrell, CBS 2 News.